We're here in Sochi approaching the end of the World Cup. This was a test event for next year's Olympic Winter Games and it was really some test. It was a test of the athletes, it was a test of the facilities. As we saw, Martin Fourcade overwhelmed everything, won two great events. He's now won all of the Crystal Globes except one. Torberger is on the top of everything. She'll take home all the Crystal Globes this year. But the great thing here was this test event. Saw some really tough tracks, an interesting shooting range with this big, huge green wall that you see behind me, and a magnificent stadium where the athletes had a great opportunity to get a feeling for what's gonna happen next year at the Olympic Games. It's been a tough season for a really strong Russian team. They've been very close to the podium on a lot of occasions. But here in Sochi, their luck actually changed a bit. They came early, they trained here, they acclimated. They came away with two podiums, Olga Zaitseva in the women's individual, Evgeny Ustyugov in the men's sprint, and today the men ran away in the relay to the delight of the home crowd. This could be their stadium next year in the Olympic Games. Besides the competitions, the tough tracks, one thing that all the athletes are going to remember as they look towards next year is what we see now, the ever-changing weather. We've had snow, we've had rain, we've had fog, we've had no fog, we've had sun. It's going to be amazing next year to be able to just master the conditions because the team that masters the conditions on the tracks and the weather are going to be the ones who probably go away with most of the gold medals. One more World Cup to go. Everybody's a little bit tired, but the final week in Honeyman Sis and the handing out of all the Crystal Globes to Martin Fogad possibly and for sure Tora Berger.